With the engine mount clamped in place on the left and the right, we're then going to trace with the pen around the top pad. You can take a look at how these components go together to form our mount. Note we have the engine lifted on a hoist. Here is my contactor and my old style voltage regulator. We need to discuss how to attach our wires to the magnetos. But the reason I removed it is because this is where I'm going to insert the sensor that's going to pick up electronically the tachometer pulses for RPM reading on our electronic readout. Here's a look at the Bendix mag and the little mark inside the window showing that we have it, the gears aligned properly. Here is our Westac temperature probe for the oil. Now on our filter adapter We'll attach this to the engine, oil filter canister on here, and then on the bottom is a plug. But what this now allows us to do is to mount our sender anywhere we want off of the engine to protect it from the vibration. Now we can pull this cable forward and back because we haven't mounted it yet, and our goal is to make sure our throttle knob on the panel is pushed in all the way for full power. And here is our new bracket for the throttle. An inch by an inch will do just fine. And this is about a hundred millimeters long. And then I just cut out this area. Here is our mixture cable with the bracket and two clamps. These are the quarter inch clamps and this allows us to adjust the cable back and forth to get the length. First we're going to look at part C and this is one of the rather large pieces with a large hole in the corner and this is going to go on the pilot side right behind the last cylinder. We are on the pilot side of the engine and in between the two cylinders we need to install a baffle piece. This is letter G. Note that it has a long wing and a short wing. The long wing goes and this gives us a chance to check the clearances between various items such as we want to make sure our mixture cable it's not too close. When you're ready to install your exhaust system, make sure you use good quality new exhaust gaskets. If you want to monitor exhaust gas temperature, then you need to install the probes such as this one here. I have an MGL electronic monitoring system and all of the wires run into this box here on the firewall. Now the oil that we are going to use for break-in for the first 24 hours is going to be a straight mineral oil without detergents or dispersants in them. This will aid in having the rings seat against the cylinder walls.